Hello everyone. Today I'm going to cover how to identify the structural stiffness and damping from the impact test. Let's say you'd like to identify the structural stiffness and damping of a simple structure shown in this slide. When there is an external force applied at the top of the weight, it will move. But once you remove the external force, it will come back to its original state. Based on this observation, you could draw a simple free body diagram as shown on the right. Now, to identify the structural stiffness and damping from an impact test, you need the following equipment, such as impact hammer, accelerometer, signal conditioner, and data acquisition. At the tip of the impact hammer, there's a load cell that records the force once impact is applied. So when you apply an impact on the object, the impact force is recorded in the data acquisition as shown on the top right. The figure on the top right shows the applied force with respect to time. And as you can see that strong peak force was applied in a very short time span. Due to this impact force from the hammer, the structure will vibrate. This movement will be captured in the accelerometer. And the typical signal at the time domain of the acceleration of an object is shown on the left. The response of the structure shows an exponentially decaying motion. Based on the force and acceleration data, you could extract the stiffness and damping. The input is the force and the output is the motion of the structure. For a single degree of freedom model, you can model the output over input in the frequency domain. Now, if you plot your A over F, output motion over force, on the frequency domain, the typical signal is shown on the right. What this figure is showing you is that at 110 Hertz, a small amount of input force can largely excite the motion of the structure, which this frequency is called natural frequency of the structure. From given data point, you could curve fit these data and estimate the stiffness and damping. Here is the structural stiffness K and damping C from the curve fitting the measured data. The next step is to verify whether your estimated stiffness is correct. To do that, we are going to estimate the structural stiffness using a different method. Please note that the stiffness is force over displacement. Based on this understanding, you can measure your structural stiffness in a more simpler method. For example, place a dial indicator and use a force gauge to push the structure and measure the applied force and distance moved. Record the applied force and record the displacement of the structure. Apply larger force and record the displacement and applied force. Once you have enough data points, you can curve fit the measured data and estimate the structural stiffness, which is force over displacement. If your stiffness measurement obtained from the push test is similar to the stiffness from the impact test, you can have higher confidence in your impact test results for both structural stiffness and damping. All right, this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.